Hey guys, Slash Forever, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing Jason X2, The Experiment. This book was written by Pat Gagan. And before I even start on the review, that's awesome. The fact that the uh, the one who wrote uh, Novelization also wrote the sequel book, that's already a win for me. Because... She already has inside on the movie and the script and all because, you know, she read the script to write the movie. Then she turns it into a book. Who would have been better to write Chase next to The Experiment? Other than Pat Gadigan. So yeah, this book was awesome. I really, I really enjoyed it. I gotta say, I was uh, slightly disappointed when I finished the book. But besides that, I really enjoyed it. Because I still think it's a really solid read. And I still think that it is a good addition to Jason X, uh, to the Jason X series, um, the follow-up series with the novels. But I just expected something different, and especially the first half was really good. But we'll get into that. You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> to read this book. I am a big fan of Jason X, uh, the movie. I absolutely love that film to death. Don't, not many people can say that, but I love that film. And I was super excited to go into this one because the movie ended on a cliffhanger that never got concluded up until this baby came out. And also, by the way, just look at that. What do you look at that? It's 3D. Can slightly see it, like the outline of Jason. That's really cool. Now I can already hear you typing your little stupid hate comment. I do not think Jason X is a masterpiece by any means. I do not think it's a good film, like a uh, thing that should be mentioned in movie history, unless you're gonna talk about horror movies, of course, and uh, start talking about Friday the 13th. And it definitely deserves a mention, uh, but usually not that positive. <laughs> so yeah. I just like it. I enjoy it for what it is, you know. I can enjoy it, sit back, relax, you know. So, like I said, the first half, the beginning of this book is very interesting. We get to know new locations and, and, and characters, which is cool. We actually go to the planet that Jason landed on in the first movie, which I don't know the name of because I'm a dumbass. But, uh, yeah, that planet, the one with the lake, it was a very good Jason story. I mean, a lake. What else do you need in a Jason story? But then, the second half, they move from a power plant to a government facility. Now, that's not too bad. Jason barely gets anything to do. And that's the thing that um, mostly bugs me about this uh, book. And after a while, yeah, he kills a bunch of people, but there aren't really any gory details, you know? None of the juicy stuff, so that's, that's a shame. And that's the thing, because, like, the second half wouldn't have been as disappointing and bad if the first half was so awesome. As you know, in Jason X, in the end, he lands in the lake. That's where the book starts, at that lake, because there's a team that has like a mission at said lake. And they know something is up with the lake, and that really reminded me of like early Friday the 13th films, or like Creature of the Black Lagoon sort of things, you know, which I really, really thought was really smart um, by the writer. You know, it really, I don't know, it just gives you early Friday the 13th vibes, but just in space. Now I gotta admit, there is some cheesy fun to be had near the end with some crazy scientist, which happens in almost every Friday the 13th, uh, or Chase Next books, like the crazy scientist. Um, when the crazy scientist turns into like a different other version of Jason, I really like that, <laughs> I gotta say that. It's, there are some cheesy fun to be had with this book. So yeah, overall, I would say, I would, I would be interested to see this into a movie, you know, I think this would be a solid um, sequel overall. I gotta say, it's it's a fun sequel and any Jason X, anyone who enjoys Jason X should read this or if you do not want to spend a whole lot of money on this book, um, go to the 80 slash librarian, I'll say it again, and uh, just listen to them over there because he does a good job narrating them. A good sequel. Would have been way better if they stayed at the power plant, like um, Jason creeping up on that near the lake uh, was just the whole book, you know, and some interesting stuff happened. But yeah, we got what we got, and I gotta say I enjoy it uh, for what it is, and there's like a really, 
<laughs> really funny yeah, well, funny thing because uh, there's a reference of Alice Cooper in the book, um, which by itself is awesome. But then there's also a Elvis Presley uh, reference. So if you're an Alice Cooper fan, you know exactly what happened between those two and you know the song Disgrace Land from Dragon Town. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, that's quite ironic, I thought. While reading it, I, so that that made me chuckle. Uh, so yeah, for you uh, Alice Cooper or Elvis Presley fans out there, another reason to read this book. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got to say for now. Uh, I would totally recommend Jason X Two: The Experiment. I'll be here again very soon with a review to Jason X Three: Planet of the Beast. See you guys. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's gonna be wild tonight.